¿Sí? El paso está pegado a Old Mesilla. Yeah, some, some park. So we just went to New Mexico. I didn't know we were that close to New Mexico. So basically this is a tri-state area because it's Chihuahua, New Mexico, and Texas. Yeah. Three corners. Yeah, there you go. I guess I don't, I don't know if you guys can see that, but up there there's a Christ. And they're telling me that that Christ is the same one. Well, the person that made that Christ is the same one person that made the Christ in Brazil. And that Christ is like half, well, or if you cry, I guess if you go on the other side, there's, uh, it's Mexico, and this side is the US. So we're going up to like, um, farmer's market. But from here, it's pretty cool. You can get a good view of the city right here. It's a pretty nice farmer's market. So apparently they also have a Corvette show here. It's a really nice place. <laughs> So this is the second market, uh, the second open market that we come to. This one has like art and food. But yeah, this is I guess it's downtown. El Paso is really small. Then again, El Paso is really small too. Yeah. So we came to this small little cafe, which is pretty cool because it's like a gallery. They have like all kinds of stuff. And the ceiling, I just saw that they have like book pages and the tables like the door. For here, my hosts. What's your name, man? Rodrigo. Rodrigo and his girlfriend. Adriana. Adriana. And we're eating chocolate chip cookies made from scratch. Gluten free. Gluten free, gluten -free. so you won't hurt yourself. And she made it. She made it very clear yeah. that it's, it's gluten free. <laughs> Western store where they sell like boots, shirts, jeans, and look at these things right here. Like a hundred bucks for belt buckles. You ready to do? <laughs> Two dollars. Two dollars. And you came with a belt. That doesn't even come with a belt. <laughs> Let's see you guys. Howdy. Oh, he has a boots, yeah. So I guess you pay a thousand dollars, you gotta maintain your thousand dollars. Is that a bar? Or? It used to be a bar back in the beginning of the 1900s. Mm -hmm. So it was a very famous cantina and you can see up there, I mean, they used to have rails so that people used to go up and they used to drink. It's like a saloon, mm -hmm. basically. It was a saloon in the Old West. So during the early 1900s, uh, Pancho Villa, he went inside the 
of that bar and they, there's a very famous picture of him sitting there. He was just sitting like, just turned around like that. And he's just sipping some beer and, and the picture, it's all over the, the US. And I mean, not the US, but probably in Mexican houses and in, mm -hmm. and in Mexico. And uh, so a lot of people see the picture, but they don't know where, where it was taken at. Yeah. Well, it, was, it was basically in here. And I'll start walking. Let's do it. Yeah, between Going to the tap. The famous tap. Which is a hole in the wall. Hole but one the of the holes in the walls that you want to see. And this bar has not been remodeled in 20 years, so prepare yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You gonna start the party, dude? <laughs> so here you're gonna see, uh, you're gonna listen to this Mexican music, and then suddenly it's gonna suddenly change to like rap and like hip hop, and then suddenly it's gonna change to like American rock. Yeah. And then it just doesn't make any sense, which makes this place great because there's all types of people here. That's cool. The smell man. of the kitchen, can you smell it? Yeah. <laughs> it smells good. It smells like natchez. ¿Eres yo sueño? Yo no, no, si ya está nomás. No, como se está acabando la pila. ¿El, ¿La cámara? No, usted se ah, está acabando ah, la, la pila. Ah, nosotros también. Para ahí, ¿a dónde vas? ¿A la tina? Al freeway. So, a university was put in style. Yes. From... Influence. And it's pretty authentic because it brought it took people to look at the architecture, study the architecture over there because they wanted to make it, you know, as similar as possible. Mm -hmm. So this is a UTEP stadium and it's built into the mountains, kind of like red rocks. And if you can see the buildings over there, that's that Utenese architecture style. Pretty cool. Big ass gym. So my boy here is telling me that iced tea is the best ice cream in El Paso. I'll be the judge of that. That's right. <laughs> well, yeah, if you come here, this is the place you have to come to. It's locally locally made, uh, lo local mix of yogurt, and it's natural. It's not not powder and. They use real ingredients in the right. It's locally churned. Locally churned. There's people in the back just churning the shit out of the yogurt. It's a pretty nice place. 